Hey guys and gals, Ashton here again with 10 Cents. Today we're going to be going over discovery sets. So if you're already a big time collector or you're really seasoned, um, then you already know what discovery sets are. So this is more so for people that are beginners or people that are just starting to branch out into niche fragrances. Because if you've only ever dealt with designer scents, then leaping into niche fragrances that cost, you know, sometimes four or five times more than a designer bottle would, can be really intimidating, especially if you don't know really where to start uh, or what house you're into or anything like that. So we're just gonna touch on discovery sets, maybe a couple places where you can buy them and whether they're a good idea or not. So when you buy a discovery kit or a discovery set, it usually comes one of two different ways. It's either kind of a compilation of carded samples from that house. So for example, this is a carded sample of Amouage Bracken Man. Um, it's an official sample from the house. On the inside, you have information about the fragrance itself and then a little vial that sits in there, like so, a little spray vial. So if you buy it that way, you're going to get a package that has however many fragrances are included in the set, each one separated out with its own specific carded sample. A lot of houses put together packages, though, specifically as a discovery set or discovery kit. So this is one from Olfactive Studio. Um, the box is specific for this set. And when you open it up, there's usually something on the inside, a booklet or a fold out or something that gives information for each particular fragrance, like so, kind of gives uh, a breakdown. And then you have the sample vials themselves that will just sit in the discovery set. So these are four milliliters each. I believe that the Amouage carded samples are two milliliters each, either two or two and a half. But you wanna check that when you make the purchase itself. Now obviously, this is not a huge amount of fragrance per scent, but it's really just so that you can test out the fragrance and see if it's something that you would want to invest in a full bottle for. Once you dive into niche, you know, it can get very expensive very fast. And most people don't really want to go in and blind buy a bunch of fragrances that are $200 plus. Uh, because if you buy a fragrance for $200 and then you don't like it, I mean, your options are basically to try to resell it or uh, to swap it. And you're going to end up taking a loss. And then there's the time, you know, in between from when you got it and when you were actually able to move it again and get some of that money back. So it's a big headache. And this can really help alleviate a lot of those headaches. Some niche houses are easier to find discovery kits on than others. Um, so you may have to search around depending on which one it is that you're interested in. If it's an indie house, you may need to reach out directly to that house to see what kind of samples they can provide you. Uh, like imaginary authors, for example, I know if you email them, they're usually pretty good about getting in touch and then uh, getting some samples out to you. There was a site that I discovered not that long ago. I included some information on the uh, Mansara Aoud Lemon Mint review and it's uh, europerfumes.com. They have some really, really inexpensive uh, discovery kits as far as those usually you know, price out for. Uh, they had Histoire de Parfum, uh, a discovery kit for I believe $16, and it was 10 different fragrances. So that's super cheap. That's $1.60 per sample. And I have never found that cheaper than that anywhere. You can look on eBay, Notino, anywhere. That's the cheapest I found that so far. Um, so that's a good place to start. I know that right now they have maybe five or six brands, I think, listed with discovery kits. They had a whole bunch of Montals last time I looked. So if you're interested in Montals, then that's probably the place to start. Uh, I did notice that they have other brands for, for sale on that website that they don't have any samples or discovery kits available for. So if you're interested in one of those other brands, you may want to just email them. I'm not sure if that would help or not, but it's worth a shot if you're into one of those other brands. And yeah, when it comes to emailing guys, honestly, it's not a bad idea. If you're wanting samples and you can't find a discovery kit or carded samples or anything easily where you are, reach out to the company itself or reach out to one of the uh, official retailers 
that has their stuff. Uh, that's a good way to go. I know that Lucky sent us samples, but those are 0.7 milliliter samples and they come in the little vial where you have to uh, rub it on with the little applicator and I hate those. So every time I've made a purchase from Lucky Scent, I do end up getting fragrances from there uh, in the little samples because I think they send three with each bottle that you purchase. Could be wrong there, but I think it's three. Um, I basically don't use those at all just because I hate the applicators. The only way I get use out of those is if I dump the tiny little, you know, seven tenths of a milliliter into a, a little spray uh, decant and then do it that way uh, because those applicators just don't work. I've put it on like 15, 16 times, like back and forth, back and forth, and I can still barely pick it up. So those are a no go for me. Um, but some people don't mind that. So if you don't mind the applicator uh, kind of sample style, then Lucky Scent has tons of niche fragrances and you can try um, to sample through those. Um, IndieScents.com, they have a whole bunch of indie houses, uh, imaginary authors, tower perfumes, things like that. And if you make a purchase of a bottle through there, they give you nice little uh, spray samples. I believe again, three per bottle purchased and sometimes they'll throw in some free ones too and you get to say which ones that you want. So I've actually sampled a lot of uh, Tower and some Slumber House and stuff like that through Indie Sense. So that's another decent way to go. All right guys, that's all I've got. If you have any more tips or tricks, just let me know. Let everybody else know in the comments. Again, this is more so for people just getting started into niche because I know the feeling of spending a lot of money on something blind, thinking it's going to be awesome, and then it sucks. So if you're just getting started, don't go that route. You may be disappointed and you don't want to be out a couple hundred dollars. Until next time, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.